So if you're watching this, look at what you're doing to the kid, man. <laughs> talk was definitely worth the money. You know how they was like, yo, when you take the talk and the money, it was, it was definitely worth it. You just saying, you know, like, to believe in yourself and just always, like, follow, like, what's in your heart. Like, not what no one else is saying or, or anything. Just do. So who's next? Y'all don't see the lineup? Oh, who? Yeah, no. yeah we, we see, see the lineup. See. I'm just waiting to see who's next. Who's like Jay-Z is setting Diddy up. Why is everyone having such a hard time? He ain't doing shit. But I do know this, that it's only three people that had contracts with Puff and Bad Boy. Why? Because he's the acceptable monster at this time. Hold up. Did you hear what Diddy's son just said? He's out here saying he has some serious secrets about Jay-Z and Beyonce, and he's not afraid to share them. Word on the street is, he's got dirt that could rock the entire music world. This isn't your typical celebrity gossip, he's making some huge accusations. Diddy's son claims that Jay-Z and Beyonce were involved in setting up his dad, and he's ready to spill everything. You definitely don't want to miss this. Should they, should they speak up now? Should they speak up now? I think it's getting a little too late for those who are complicit. For the victims who have been too afraid to come forward because the diddler has been running around with impunity. Uh, it's time for all of the victims to come forward. But for the people that have been denying it, you know what, let, let's not be coy. You know, I am Jaguar. So let, let's just keep it a buck. Let's keep it a bean. Stevie J should be charged. Mary J. Blige should also be charged. Jennifer Lopez should definitely be charged. Uh, should I keep going? I mean, you're hitting it on. <laughs> Jay-Z should be charged. Khaled should be charged. Rick Roth should be charged. Usher should be charged and tried with him. Girl, let me tell you about this family drama that's about to explode. Diddy's son is done playing games. He's ready to spill everything. This young man is stepping into the spotlight and he's coming for Jay-Z and Beyonce. No holds barred. But why now? What's got Diddy's son so fired up that he's willing to take on the Carters? The streets are buzzing and they're saying there's bad blood between Diddy and Jay-Z that goes way back. This isn't just some petty beef or a minor disagreement. This is deep. We're talking years of tension simmering under the surface. In the music industry, things aren't always what they seem. Behind the glitz and glamour, there are hidden rivalries, secret power plays, and agendas no one talks about. And now, it looks like all that dirty laundry is about to be aired out. Word on the street is that Diddy and Jay have been locked in a quiet battle for years, trying to outdo each other. It wasn't just about who had the hottest songs or the biggest mansions. No, this was about power influence and who truly runs the game. And apparently things got ugly behind closed doors. Well, I would say this, it's kind of funny to me, man, is that Diddy used to hate Jay-Z. He hated Jay-Z enough when he was trying to get Ja Rule to go at Jay-Z. This is back in the early 2000s. And one day, Asner Kushner, Diddy and myself went to a Nets game and we met Jay-Z. I've never been a Jay-Z fan, you know. You know, like some of his music, the whole nine yards. But... When we went over to the, uh, I think that was Prudential Center in Newark, and him and Puff met up, it was strange to me. Because I remember what Puff was trying to do. And then both of them, they was talking about something amongst each other, amongst all of us, and laughing and joking with each other. Then over the years, 
I see them giving garden parties. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you could tell that the people in power had gave that ring to Diddy and Jay was next in line. So to separate him when in fact they may be two of the same but because Jay-Z is low key that low key sneaky shit and Diddy is and work was rambunctious, you know, just out with it. It don't mean that they're not two of the same. One just a little quiet what, with his shit. What happened at the basketball game? When they when they ran into you guys ran into Jay Z? They were just talking they was talking amongst each other about their little white girls. They little skinny oh. white girls. And I mean, did Diddy always say negative things about Jay around you? The time he was trying to get Ja Rule to go at Jay, yeah. He was. They worked it out. Was there a reason behind it? I I I I, I couldn't tell you the reason behind it. It was just, it was probably because Big had died. I don't know what it was, man. I don't know why he wanted Ja Rule to go at Jay. I guess if he kept them beefing or kept them into some bullshit, he could rise up in between both of them. Sneaky deals, one-upping each other. Remember when Diddy's Bad Boy Records was on top? Well... Some people say Jay-Z was working overtime to knock him off that throne. Then, when Jay-Z's rock nation started rising, there were whispers that Diddy was plotting his big comeback. But, honey, this isn't just about the music, it's personal, and it's about to get real messy. Word is, there might be some dirty business deals, broken promises, and even things that could land people in legal trouble. We're talking about the kind of tea that could destroy reputations and end careers. And now, Diddy's son is stepping up to back up his dad, and he's not holding back. He's saying he has receipts, emails, text messages, maybe even recorded conversations that could blow this whole thing wide open. But it's not just about clearing Diddy's name. No, it's about revealing the truth and showing the world that even the biggest stars aren't untouchable. Diddy's son is ready to risk it all to stand by his family, and he doesn't care who gets caught in the crossfire. You know the Carters won't just sit back and take this. They've built an empire on their perfect image and sharp business moves. If even half of what Diddy's son is saying is true, it could shake the foundation of their reign. And let me tell you, when royalty feels threatened, they fight back hard. So buckle up because this drama is just getting started. We might be about to witness the biggest showdown in hip hop history, Diddy's son versus the Carter dynasty. Who's going to come out on top? The plot thickens, and girl, I've got a feeling we haven't seen anything yet. Now, Carisha and Rick Ross just sat down together. An interview. Yeah, I know. Two Diddy doo bops. What a reunion. Only thing they got in... in uh. <laughs> now, will, will Diddy start snitching? <laughs> she threw it up. Yeah, you, you, he better. He better. But the only thing I'm interested in him talking about is everything he knows about Kathy Coriana White. See, I know you know what happened to Corey. <laughs> Did he? I know that. You and Jay-Z. Down in Vegas in Tao with Claudia. Why don't you just talk about Kathy? That might help. That might help a lot. <laughs> I was I was saying if those who don't know who Kathy is, 
Kathy Coriana White, Jay-Z's pregnant mistress, who died 24 hours after she announced that she was going public with their relationship and the baby. While he was married to Beyonce. <laughs> Was it an aneurysm, did he? Or are you the one who paid the same coroner that you... Mm. (laughs) Oh, Diddy, you should talk. Do you feel... Do you feel the federal government will probably speak to Jay-Z in regards? They already have. Oh. They talked to him before he made that Super Bowl announcement. In that interest, then. he was questioned by the feds before he made the Super Bowl announcement. Blink twice. <laughs> Could things get any messy, eh? Well, hold on tight because we're about to spill some scalding hot tea. Remember when? Everyone thought Diddy and Jay-Z were close friends. Turns out that friendship might have been faker than a $3 bill. The real question is, just how deep does this betrayal go? The streets are buzzing with whispers that Jay and Beyonce might have played Diddy dirtier than a back alley dumpster. This isn't just about a little shade or petty gossip. No, this is next level betrayal that has the whole industry shook. But how far does this rabbit hole go? And what's really at stake here? We're talking power moves that would make Machiavelli blush, secret deals made in the shadows, and backstabbing so sharp it could cut through diamonds. This isn't about who has the hottest track or the flashiest video anymore. It's about who controls the game and who's pulling the strings behind the scenes. You know how they say it's lonely at the top? Well, in the music business, it's dangerous too. One minute you're on top of the world, and the next you're yesterday's news. And it looks like someone might have been trying to speed up that process for Diddy. The industry has been in a tailspin ever since Diddy's legal troubles started making headlines. But now, Chili, we're hearing that maybe, just maybe, it wasn't all Diddy's doing. Think about it. Diddy's been in the game for decades, building his empire brick by brick, bad boy records, Ciroc. The man's got his hands in more pies than a bakery. So, why all of a sudden is he caught up in all this legal drama? Something smells fishy. And for me, yeah. let me, you know, let me there's, add- there's nothing like, have you ever seen what happens to a rat when it's trapped in a heated environment? Oh, it'll eat through anything. Claw eat its way through anything. So I want y'all to imagine this. I got Jay-Z on his back with his stomach exposed. Diddy is the rat that I'm using. And I'm going to take a metal trash can and put it right on Jay-Z's stomach with Diddy right in there. And I'm going to heat that bitch up and see what she eat through. Fuck you, Sean. Both of (laughs) y'all. I got you, bitch. I told you. As uh, the U.S. attorney came on and spoke on the uh, indictment, next to him you see six uh, U.S. uh, uh, AUSA's, um, his assistant attorneys, I believe one uh, pregnant, uh, one a little older, but all white women. What are your thoughts on that when you see six women assisting the district, uh, assisting the U.S. attorney? To... A small chorus of, of Nancy Grace's? Basically. I think it's fabulous. <laughs> Need it. Sean P. Combs, he's a bad guy. Can't Can't wait to see it. Now, I'm not one to spread rumors without solid proof, but the streets are talking. They're saying that while Diddy thought he was playing chess, the Carters were playing a whole different game. Word on the street is there were secret meetings, deals made behind closed doors, and promises broken faster than a New Year's resolution. But here's where it gets real juicy— Diddy's son isn't just talking. He claims he's got proof that the Carters set his dad up to take the fall. We're talking hard evidence, emails, text messages, maybe even recorded conversations. 
This kind of stuff could blow the lid off everything and make Watergate look like child's play. If it's true, it could change everything we thought we knew about these music moguls. This isn't just about a little industry beef anymore. We could be dealing with a scandal that rewrites music history. Imagine finding out that the power couple we've all idolized for years might have been playing dirty all along. And let's be real, the stakes couldn't be higher. We're talking about massive empires here, record labels, streaming services, clothing lines, liquor brands. The kind of money that makes regular millionaires look broke. If Diddy's son really has what he says he does, this could topple dynasties and reshape the entire industry. But you know what they say, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. And if the Carters really did set Diddy up, they had to know they were playing with fire. Now, they're facing off against a man with nothing left to lose and a son who's ready to risk it all to clear his dad's name. So, grab your popcorn and get comfortable because this drama is far from over. We're about to witness a showdown that could shake the very foundations of the music industry. And when the dust settles, nothing will be the same. The real question is, are you ready for the truth? Be true at once. Diddy could be an absolute dirtbag guilty of everything. But also, Jaguar Wright could be looking for her 15 minutes of fame. Prior to this week, this month, have you ever heard of this person? I have. So, okay. I don't know. I don't know where parties you're at with that. No, not, par no, not parties, but she's been in front of the camera for a I've while. I've never heard of her. Okay. I've been listening to hip hop since, you know, Beastie Boys did Brass Monkey in 86. Yeah. I've never heard of this person. She's now, if you type in Google, if you try, if you type in Jag, What's the first thing that pops up? I guarantee you it's her. Not the Jacksonville Jaguars or an actual Jaguar. She's the first thing that pops up. So she's she's utilizing this 15 minutes of fame. And there she is right there. Um, here's what I'll also say about Diddy. This was you know the most what song she was in? No. Big Pimpin'. You know what other song she was Big in? Big Pimpin' Spending You know what other song? Yeah, that's Jay-Z. Yeah. 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 You remember the movie uh, uh, with uh, Denzel? Uh, American gangster, mm -hmm. while that one guy comes out with the song uh, "Heart of the City." Yeah, you know the Heart of the City. Yeah, ain't no more. No, no, it's a heart of the city. It was a rem That's a remake her. Of she's in it. Okay, she's in those. She's two a songs. backup singer. She is. She's, she's yeah. backup the, singer for no, no, Jay Z in two thousand and one. Okay, but yeah. she ain't Beyonce. She no, ain't Rihanna. She is being Jane around. She's been I'm around not them. denying that yeah. she's yeah. been around it. Like, they're yeah. interviewing her for a reason. Here's what I found the most interesting about Diddy overall. This was David Muir was actually you know he's the ABC guy, big news guy. He was interviewing I guess the guy that's handling a lot of the sexual allegations about Diddy, and he's receiving a lot of phone calls. Here's the most interesting thing about these sexual allegations yeah i, I don't know if it was him or, or a different lawyer um but it was on abc you can check that out he goes talk about a gender difference it's so interesting about did he goes prior to 2005 it was actually 50 50 these allegations that kept coming in men and women 50 percent men 50 percent women but how about this after 2005 it was 90 percent men allegations Something happened with and Diddy, allegedly, where he went, this now. isn't it. But it went from 50-50 allegations, receiving these phone calls, receiving what's going on, doing all these sort of testimonies, to 90% men. When there's smoke, there's fire, Diddy. Yeah, yeah, and what's Al going on in that baby Alex oil? Spiro, Pat, was on uh, TMZ, and he said to those two guys, whatever their names are, I didn't send a cease and desist, I sent an ultimatum. Remove that false accusation, or a court is going to order you to. Who that, said this? That's uh, Alex Alex uh, Sparrow, right? That's it right there, Pat. I can play this? to you that somebody comes on uh, a show and then kind of levels these vague-ish allegations. Were you kind of ready for something like this to eventually happen? Listen, there's rumors and then there's nonsense, and this is one step further, right? This is a pointed and formal accusation of something. Well, um, awesome. and, um, I felt it needed to be responded to. So uh, I think somebody reported it was a cease and desist. It, it wasn't that it was, uh, quite bluntly an ultimatum, which is remove that false accusation, um, that's demonstrably false, um, or a court's going to order you to. And so uh, I think he made the wise choice and acted accordingly. He meaning what Pierce Morgan. Wrong? Yeah. removing it and apologizing for it yes what changed here in my mind is that somebody on a so-called journalistic platform exploited that kind of random rumor mill whether it's disconnected from reality 
Like you can stop laughing. I mean, I mean, hold up. Let me ask you this: What would it take to bring down the king and queen of hip hop? Rumor has it Diddy's son might be sitting on a treasure trove of tea that could do just that. But is it all smoke and mirrors, or is there real fire behind these claims? You know, in this game, it's all about the receipts, and Diddy's son isn't just talking. He's hinting he's got a whole filing cabinet full of dirt that could expose everything. We're talking a gold mine of info that could shake the very foundation of the music industry. But what kind of tea are we really dealing with here? Is it strong enough to take down the Carters, or just lukewarm gossip? The streets are buzzing with all kinds of theories, and trust me, some of the stuff is juicier than a Georgia peach. We're hearing whispers about secret recordings that could make Nixon's tapes look like child's play. Imagine being a fly on the wall during those private conversations. What kind of secrets could be hidden in those audio files? But that's not all. There's talk of shady contracts with more loopholes than a box of Fruit Loops. We're talking about deals made in the shadows, promises written in invisible ink, and fine print so small you'd need a microscope to read it. And don't even get me started on these late-night meetings. The streets are saying there were powwows happening after hours that would make your head spin. Picture dimly lit rooms, hushed voices, and plans being hatched that could change the game forever. Who was there? What were they plotting? Honey, if those walls could talk, they'd probably need their own reality show. There was none for her. How many, how many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. Wow. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. Mr. Carter, who? They're Jay-Z. a nasty Jay-Z. little couple. Jay-Z. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Paul? people against their will. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane. Unconscious. This girl's There's got a an lot agenda. of things that you people don't want to talk about. Here's. She about to do a fake. Well, okay, I, I'm, I'm but hold on, but, but Adam, but here's the thing. And again, it, it always sounds crazy and wild until it ain't. Because and, and who knows? She's not. Uh, credible or lie detector test or whatever what if she's right what if all these things that she's seen because she's a dominatrix she said she used to work at these parties and tie guys up and whip them and everything like that's she was about that life so when somebody that's about that life tells you about the life you're giving her a lot of credibility i'm or? not i'm not but adam what where is she coming up with this stuff she was at these places she's seen it firsthand i'm not denying she was there here, if i listen uh, you can go we'll play this clip yeah okay. play this clip then we'll react go ahead rob the shocking allegations leveled at Sean Diddy Combs have burst the floodgates on salacious claims about an industry many people believe harbored a monster. Understandably, the Internet's ablaze with claims about these events and whether other powerful figures were involved too. Well, last week I interviewed Jaguar Wright, a singer-songwriter who's made claims about Diddy for years. Those claims that have received a lot of attention in the media across many platforms for many years. And that's the thing about platforms. The reality of the modern world is that pretty much everyone has a platform as long as they have something to say that other people want to hear. That's why we invited her on to be interviewed. The people making these claims have an audience with or without shows like mine. Well, Jay, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. It's getting real interesting now. There's talk of offshore accounts and hush money floating around, and we're not talking about pocket change here. We're talking about figures that would make your bank account do a double take. If these rumors are true, it might explain a lot about how certain people have managed to keep their hands clean for so long. But here's the thing, girl. Right now, everyone has their own theory, but nobody knows the whole truth yet. It's like we're all trying to put together a jigsaw puzzle but half the pieces are missing and the other half might not even belong to the same picture. Diddy's son is playing his hand close to his chest and the anticipation is killing us. If he really has what he says he does, it could be game over for Jay and Beyonce's squeaky clean image. We're talking about the kind of scandal that doesn't just rock the boat, it could capsize the whole damn yacht. Their empire is built on being untouchable and unshakable, but if even half of these rumors turn out to be true, we might be watching the fall of a dynasty. But hold up, let's not jump the gun. 
You know the Carters aren't going down without a fight. They've got more lawyers than you can shake a stick at, and you better believe they're already gearing up for battle. This isn't their first rodeo. They've weathered storms before. But something tells me this might be the hurricane they weren't prepared for. One thing's for sure, though, this is about to get uglier than a cat fight at a sample sale. The gloves are coming off, and nobody's playing nice anymore. So, grab your umbrella, because when this tea starts spilling, it's going to rain drama like we've never seen before. And guess what happened in the end of that episode, when they finally tracked down the starlet, who they were hiding from everyone so she never had to testify. The male rapper took the charge, so the case was closed, and that's when she finally admitted it, that it was her that did the pow-powing. And they just let it ride. Isn't that funny? How similar does that sound to what really happened with J-Lo, Shine, and Diddy? And you want to know what's funny? Ice-T knows a lot of people from that time, and he used to frequent at that club. He would have known all of the real details of everything that happened that night. And rather than someone forcing it back into the law's hand, it became an episode. For Law & Order SVU, a lot of money was made off of that. Natanya Rubin has not begun to see reparations for what happened to her life. How did NBC get the profit off of it? Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. If it was good enough to be a, te a television episode, it should be good enough to be reopened for charges. Because clearly there were other people that knew the truth of that story. The, f the fact that... uh. TPD is in jail for pox murder. Do you feel like they may go even deeper to the 90s in regards to just asking? They have to, because that's the beginning of everything that's leading up to the tragedies that are about to happen now. We have to go back to the beginning. Mm. Everybody knows at this point in time, Keefe D ain't do it. He's already made it very clear he had a profit deal, which means he's been working with the government all this time. When are people going to start asking how long Diddy and Jay-Z have been cooperating with the government as well? Everybody was cooperating with the feds, but them? Doesn't make any sense. What I do know, though, is... And everyone is starting to notice things that they didn't notice 15, 20 years ago. Suge isn't looking like the monster that everyone painted him out to be. And Diddy sure ain't no quiet boy. That's just the appetizer, honey. Now, imagine if I told you this drama could unravel the entire music industry. What if Jay and Beyonce are just the tip of the iceberg, and there's a whole titanic-sized mess lurking underneath. If this tea gets spilled, it's going to leave stains all over the music biz. We're not just talking about a little scandal. This could be an earthquake in the hip-hop world, the kind of shake-up that changes the game forever. And trust me, nobody's ready for what's coming. But here's the real tea. Who else might get caught in the crossfire? Because, you know, in the music industry, everybody's got dirt on everybody. It's like one big web of lies, and we're about to find out just how far this rabbit hole really goes. We might be looking at a domino effect that takes down more than just the Carters. The streets are saying that other big names could be involved, celebrities, music executives, even people you thought were squeaky clean. Everyone's watching their backs, wondering if they'll be the next one exposed. It's like a game of musical chairs, but when the music stops, someone's career might be over. Think about it. If Diddy's son really has the goods on Jay and Bay, what's to stop him from spilling the tea on everyone else? We could be looking at a whole new landscape in the music biz. Alliances that have stood for years could crumble overnight. Power couples might break up faster than you can say irreconcilable differences, and those sitting pretty at the top of the game might find themselves sliding all the way down. Yeah, but I have been hearing that a lot. Um... I feel like your girl Jaguar Wright might have been one of the first to really put his name out there. Um, 
I don't know enough. You know, I I, I will say that Jay Z, if he was doing ill sh- like that, he was more quiet about it. You know what I mean? He was more. But then, if we be real with ourselves, it was kind of abnormal when he got with Beyonce. Like she was pretty young when he got with her. Um, there's rumors that he was messing with Foxy Brown when she was pretty young. Um, you know, um, so there's a lot of those rumors around, you know what I mean? I don't, you know, yeah. And, and do you hear little things here and there? You know, I'm not going to lie. When certain people get to a certain level of fame, I don't know why, but you start to hear little sh- about certain people sometimes. And I don't know if how many people are really exempt from it. Because if you really think about most of your top celebrities, black celebrities, rappers, I feel like the ones that are at the top for a long time, I feel like I've heard a rumor damn near about all of them. Not that I've seen anything. But it's always these top motherfuckers. Now, some people will say, oh, well, that's just a hating. It could be. Or it could be that motherfuckers got to join a club in order to get to a certain level. I don't know. I'm not in the club, so I wouldn't know. But it's just a little weird that every everybody that goes past a certain point, you'll hear a little and these be these be behind the scenes rumors too. This is not just internet. Shit. This be shit before the internet existed. You understand? Because it's easy for some shit to fly around now with the internet, but a lot of this shit was pre-internet, and that and, and 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 it was getting around. You see, so mm, makes it a little different. It still could be some bullshit, but I'm just saying. Some of these rumors been around about people for a long time. You've been hearing little things about them. And have I heard little shit about Jay-Z? Yup. Do I think that he's trying to um, emulate, uh, uh, emulate himself and present himself as a gay painter, like to look like Basquiat? Yup, I do. I think 50 Cent was right about that. I think that's a code a code to especially to white people that he's approachable, he's cultured, but Basquiat was also bisexual. So is that a code that you're trying to tell these white people too by trying to emulate this guy? I don't know. I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Why do people have such a uh such an affinity for Basquiat anyway? I think it's trash. Let me just put it out there. I don't think that Basquiat's art is fucking all brilliant the way they claim it is. It looks like bullshit to me. It's some shit that white people would like. It's not some shit that black people look at and be like, oh my God, that is so impressive. He ran with Andy weirdos like Andy Warhol and Keith Herring. They tried to call Keith Herring graffiti back in the days. I hated Keith Herring's art. It was crap it was that was not graffiti that was a white dude from the village who was inspired by graffiti who started doing some and because he's white now he can go to galleries and sell this for fucking fifty thousand dollars and then you got real blacks and 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 yes puerto ricans you know and even some poor white people that were doing graffiti uptown on the trains and shit like that and they couldn't get no money for this you know, and it was way more uh, technical and, you know what I mean? And and, and and makes you feel something and and really aligned itself with hip hop. Um, But all of that, shit, Keith Herring, Basquiat, Andy Warhol with soup cans. Get the fuck out of here. That was some shit where they gamed the people into believing that some bullshit was something special. 
And Jay-Z was one of the first ones, I think, to really talk about Basquiat. And it's like, why? And you make a song about Tom Ford. That's, a, that's another homosexual designer. What is this all about? Like, I don't know when heterosexuals started bigging up homosexuals, starting trying to dress like them, do their hair like them, and making songs about them. I'm just saying you know, and, and Jay-Z, I, I, I like Jay-Z. I think he's a dope rapper, dope businessman. He used to be my neighbor. We lived in the same building, 560 State Street. Um, but that being said, I'm just telling you what I know and what I've observed.